Yo, yo, what is up, people? Welcome back to another video. Sorry if the lighting's a little weird. It's kind of stormy out, so it's kind of dark. Bringing you guys another little side hustle that you could start to stack up some cash to get you started in the junk rule business, pressure washing business. Whatever business you're trying to start, this is something that you can do today as long as you have a pretty big vehicle like a pickup truck or maybe a big SUV, you can still do some of this stuff. Um, something that you can transport items. And I just did something like this. I usually don't do this kind of work. It took me an hour and 15 minutes and 120 bucks. My only expense was gas and I maybe spent 10 bucks in gas. Pretty much this side hustle is a combination of being a delivery service, a lo small item local transport service, slash moving company, but like I really wouldn't advertise yourself as a moving company because if you only are doing this out of a Sprinter van or a pickup truck short bed or something like that, you're not gonna be able to do what people expect you to do if you advertise yourself as a moving company. That's why I more say a delivery service slash small item transport. Because today some guy calls me, I got referred, my name got referred and I wasn't super busy today. I usually don't do this kind of work, but he asked me if I could take a dresser from one house to another house and then the house we were bringing it to bring a table from that house back to the original house where I start at. And I was I was already over the phone listening to it. I was like, oh. I was like, I really didn't want to do it. But I looked, I was like, oh, let me check my schedule for you. And if I'm not busy, I can probably do it. And I looked at my schedule. I only had one job scheduled at 10 in the morning and then I had nothing planned for the rest of the day. And rather than sitting on my behind, I was like, ah, whatever, I'll just hit this guy with the quote. And I just let him know. I was like, yes, I could do this kind of service, but it's gonna be $85 an hour and that's for one guy and there's at least a minimum of $100. If it takes less than an hour, there's still gonna be a minimum of $100. Just cause you don't wanna be doing these jobs for nothing because you don't wanna be known as the cheapest guy in town. At least at a minimum so you're making money. But I did the job, took us an hour and 15 minutes. The guy gave me 120 bucks. Yeah, and all I did was move a dresser. I could have done that with a pickup truck. It would have been a little difficult, but if you're advertising on Craigslist and in Facebook groups and you're kind of not a legit business and you're just doing this as a side hustle, people aren't gonna expect you to come with a two-man crew or you can just let them know over the phone like, hey, if I need to move this dresser, are you able to help me load into the back of my pickup truck? Uh, I can give you a, I don't know, ten dollars off or whatever if that if that's how you convince them the whole gist of the story is if you guys are looking for another side hustle to do and you need to start stacking some money up and you want to make some quick cash this is an easy way to make a hundred dollars a day the way you're gonna do that like i said is just set a minimum set your minimum at 80 to 100 dollars a day and if you're getting one job a day and your minimum is 100 bucks there you go 100 bucks a day obviously that's not profit but if you're getting a few transports a day then you're gonna be making a few hundred bucks. And if you get in cahoots maybe, and you get like a few little business cards made, and you start handing them out to people at Costco or employees at Costco or Sam's Club, or just get in cahoots with someone, then who knows, maybe you could scale this into a full-time business, but I'm not gonna say this is something that you should turn into a business. I just wanted to bring this to you guys and let you know that this is an easy way to make some quick cash on the side. Like I was saying, there is, where I live, the population is in the millions and not everyone drives a pickup truck or a big SUV. So when they're buying a new TV, a new mattress, uh, a new office chair even, literally anything that they can't put in their car and get to their house, they're either paying Best Buy, Target, Costco, whatever it is, their delivery fee, which is usually pretty expensive, like 150, 200 bucks. And if you just undercut them by a little bit, figure out everyone's delivery fees. And even if you don't undercut them, a lot of the time Costco and all of them have, they're backed up and they can't deliver a piece of furniture until a week later. And people are willing to pay your delivery fee just a little bit extra just to get that new piece in their house sooner. Like I've done multiple jobs like this. I've delivered mattresses from Costco. I've moved furniture from Goodwill to someone's home. Like it's an easy way to make quick cash and it's very profitable because unlike junk removal, you have zero dump fees. So pretty much the only expense you have is your time and the gas you spend in your truck. And if you're not pulling a trailer and you're doing this completely out of just the bed of your truck, I mean, come on, what are you spending? $10 in gas a job, unless you're going all the way across town. But if you're going all the way across town, then you're just racking up the clock and you're charging the customer more. So it's almost like a win-win. But yeah, that's that. I would definitely check it out if you guys are looking for something else to add to your side hustle list. Only downside of this obviously is like you need some sort of vehicle that can transport these items like a pickup truck or if you have an SUV with a small trailer that can go behind it. But I really wanted to make this because I see a lot of you guys in my comments saying you already have pickup trucks but you don't know if you can pull trailers yet or you don't know if your truck's big enough to pull a trailer. And this is something that you can start now 
to start saving up money to get that new truck or saving up money to get that trailer to start your junk removal business or your dumpster rental business and all that jazz. All right, well, that's all I got for this one. I don't want to drag this video out too long. That really sparked my interest today. And I was like, wow, if I was still working in the restaurant industry, making 80 bucks a day, uh, working my behind off for six, seven hours, uh, I would way rather deliver someone's mattress and make the same amount in two hours. So hopefully this video gets to the right people, helps a few people out. As always, if you guys enjoyed or uh, if you have a question, definitely drop a comment. But if you enjoyed, please hit the like and subscribe button for me and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.